Channel 2 Action News has obtained evidence that terrorists are crossing the southwest border from Mexico. In May, we revealed how thousands of illegals from nations that sponsor terror, like Yemen, are being caught entering. Our stories went viral. Nearly 11 million people saw them. Still in June, Homeland Security said there's no credible information terrorists are operating at the border. So we went back and found government documents that contradict that. The Border Patrol has captured thousands of people called OTMs other than Mexicans. Many are from nations that have harbored terrorists like Iraq, Iran, Afghanistan, Sudan, Somalia, Pakistan, and Yemen. The federal government calls people from those nations SIAs or special interest aliens. The government has offered very little detail about the number of actual terrorists caught on the border. Retired INS agent Michael Cutler says the terrorist border threat has been covered up. The government is attempting to keep the citizens of our country like a bunch of mushrooms. You know, keep us in the dark and feed us a lot of uh, manure. Government officials have denied terrorists have crossed our open borders. But Channel 2 Action News has proof they have. These federal court documents filed in San Antonio federal court in May reveal an indictment against Ahmed Mohamed Dakani for smuggling hundreds of people from Brazil to Mexico and into the U.S. Among them, Somalis from the terrorist group Al-Shabaab, a group responsible for terror attacks and suicide bombings around the globe. And to this day, we do not know where those 300 uh, Somalis are, uh, but we know they're in the United States. And there's this 2009 GAO report confirming that terrorists have been picked up inside the U.S. after crossing the southwest border. The report reveals three known terrorists were arrested at a U.S. Border Patrol checkpoint like the one we're approaching. No other information was released. Texas Congressman Michael McCall has seen the intelligence reports. There are many people not only being apprehended, but I think slipping through the ranks on our southern flank. While the feds have kept the terror threat secret, intelligence officials have admitted on the record there is a problem. In 2007, former National Intelligence Director Mike McConnell made this rare admission to the El Paso Times. Terrorists have been caught trying to cross the Mexican border, and these interdictions saved American lives. While just about all information about terror arrests is kept from the public, border sheriffs are fully aware of the terror threat. There's intelligence that we have that is very troubling, that is not open and available to the public. Arizona Sheriff Paul Babo says the president shouldn't seal the information. Americans want to know, especially uh, the threats that exist right here in our own country. The border threat is no secret to our enemies. Extremists have vowed to use the southern border to attack the U.S. Kuwaiti professor Abdallah Nafisi made this chilling speech encouraging terrorists to smuggle weapons of mass destruction into the United States. Four pounds of anthrax in a suitcase this big, carried by a fighter through a tunnel from Mexico into the U.S., are guaranteed to kill 330,000 Americans in a single hour. And we ask why all the secrecy surrounding the terror threat. Some critics say it's politics and centers around the debate over amnesty for illegals. We continue our investigation tonight at 6 where we uncover documents that reveal U.S. Homeland Security isn't stopping the flow of people and drugs into the U.S.